hi everyone this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel in this video we are going to locally install the full precision mistral small 3.1 model locally and we will test it out on various benchmarks we already have covered this channel as how to run it in quantized format using llama.cpp on your cpu or even gpu and we have also already checked it out through api as I have been mentioning that the model looks good, but the release from Mistral was terrible. They failed to upload the proper repo and they failed to upload all the required files. And it was just, it seemed like a half baked effort as they put it online. But anyway, uh, as per Mistral, the model is here. So let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50%. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card. NVIDIA are H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. Okay, so this is a URL. So I'm just going to first create a virtual environment with Conda. And for that, just run this command. It is going to create the Conda environment. And now let's install all the prerequisites. It is going to take a minute or so. So meanwhile, let's talk a bit more about this model. So French AI lab, Mistral has released Mistral Small 3.1, which is a 24 billion parameter open source model with an expanded 128K token context window. This model features an expanded context window of up to 128k tokens and delivers quite fast infant speed and we saw it in our first video which I did yesterday as you can see here. Now if you look at these benchmarks they are very impressive. So as per these benchmarks Mistral Small 3.1 has already beaten GPT-40 Mini, Gemma 3 27 billion and also Claude 3.5 Hyco. I won't count uh, this 3.5 Hyco because this is an older model, but Gemma 3 Instruction Tune 27 billion is quite a good model. So I'm quite interested to see how true these benchmarks are. And they have shared quite a good info around some of the text and visual benchmarks, which you can check out on their repo. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. Especially, I was quite uh, intrigued to see this GPU, GPQA main one where it has surpassed Gemma 3 and GPT-4 O Mini. So this benchmark measures general knowledge question accuracy. Another one, as you can see, MMLU, which assesses general understanding and reasoning ability across various topics. And it has scored very, very well there, around, I would say, 80.62%. And it has also performed quite well on human eval and trivia QA. So this model supports uh, both text and images for advanced understanding. It supports document verification, diagnostic, quality control, and you can even use it in a lot of customer support use cases. Okay, so that is a quick intro of this model. Let's go back to our terminal and everything seems to be installed up till now. And as we will be using VLLM, so let's install it from the nightly build. And this is another, I guess, I would say drawback of this new Mistral model that it has only been tested on VLLM. They have released some of the support for the transformer, but it is very patchy, very buggy at the moment. And to be honest, not everyone or most of the people are using the transformers Hugging face transformers are, you know, a way of installing and running models because VLLM is a good inference engine, but it is still quite buggy, quite cumbersome to install and run. You have to run the server and then you have to connect to it. Anyway, hopefully Mistral would lift their game there. So let's wait for this to get installed while that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. IgenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. 
okay so this is installed and you can verify the version of mistral common which should come included in that vllm and that is one of the reason i guess they go with vllm because mistral common is included which is um a mist you know set of libraries to support mistral model especially the tokenizer and stuff anyway so this is installed now and now let's start the vllm inference engine by specifying this model so you can see with the vllm i am serving mistral's small 24 billion instruct parameter model and by the way 24 billion is not a small size in my opinion and then we are specifying the tokenizer and then because i have just one gpu so i am using tensor parallel size to one and we are also enabling tool calling and also the auto tool choice so let's run this it is going to start and download the model first and the model is being downloaded <clears throat> and you can see that the size is just for um, you know exactly 48 gig and there you go so model is loaded as you can see i'll just scroll up to show you so the model is loaded here and then it has also loaded all the shards on the gpu and then you can see now it is waiting for the inference to come so for the inference they have also provided a code which i have changed a bit to make sure that it uh, works properly so let me show you that in vs code so this is a code where we are importing the stuff and we are specifying um, the server's url so i'm just going to change it here to localhost because that is where it is using you can also check it out here or you could even do the 0.0.0, .0 but i'm just going to use localhost here so let me put it localhost and it is running at the default 8000 port this is the um, api endpoint this is the model which we are using which we already have downloaded they have provided a system prompt which we are loading and then after that and it's a specific large huge system prompt which i also showed you in the previous video and it is also available in their hugging face repo and then i'm just providing a local image which i will show you shortly and then i'm asking it what is in the image and then we are getting the response back from the model and printing it out and now let's try to do the inference on this model so i'm just going to open another window first let me quickly show you the vram consumption as the model is fully loaded onto the gpu so you see it is consuming close to 74 gig of vram the full interestingly enough if you go to their um, a blog post it says it runs it can run on 1490 or with 32 gp of ram well you already saw that that is not the case really anyway so let's go back and let's try to do the inference as i showed you that i already have written the code which i showed you where we are doing inference that loads the model and then simply asks what is in this image this is the image of the bear and let me run this and i will also display the bear here there you go so it is saying the image features a brown bear standing in a shallow body of water likely a river or stream the bear has a thick shaggy coat and appears to be in a natural forested environment the background is lush with greenery so when I, whenever we are evaluating these responses uh, there are two high and main things which we need to cover first the language the language seems very coherent it is quite good and then if it is actually describing this image or not which it is i believe and it is not going into extra detail it is being very very precise which is quite good so i would say that's a, a spot on answer okay so let's try out few more okay next up i am giving the image of this cathedral which is in uh, vienna austria and one of the most beautiful cathedral in the world in my opinion so you see that i am just asking it that where is this location and how can i get there from sydney australia so let me run this and we will see what it says here i'm hoping that it is aware of the world knowledge and it is able to identify this cathedral which is just across the pond from France, so they should be able to do it. Anyway, so let's go up. 
it says yes so it has done it right and then it is talking about how to get to Vienna from Aust uh, Australia so by air there you go so Sydney to here and then flight duration that is pretty accurate I would say by land and sea it is talking about visa and travel documents and then enjoy your trip and it is also talking about this u-bahn and all that local transport in Wien. so pretty good i would say let's try some of the ocr stuff so i will be trying out different languages first up uh, let's try start with the french so this is just a text in the french and i'm asking it to extract the text in the image so let's go here let me clear the screen and run this and if you're a french speaker please also confirm if this ocr is right so there you go so i'm not sure what exactly this means but i think this is just telling her that it is extracting it from the image and if you look here if i just visually compare i think it looks quite good to me i don't see any miss here what do you think looks pretty spot on to me okay let's try out few other languages okay next up i'm just going to do this chinese simplified so let's run this let's wait for it and there you go so if i again visually compare this henzi script looks quite good to me you see i don't see any misses here even there's a space between this a uh, small circle and this double quote and you see that it has uh, also shown that comas are there even all the characters are there so chinese one is quite good too i would say and now let's try out one with the arabic so i will run it and wait for it and there you go we have arabic with us looks quite good to me but please confirm if you are an arabic speaker so look OCR is pretty good and I believe vision tasks are quite good we already have done the table anal analysis and other stuff so for next one I'm just going to give it this equation a multiple choice question and I'm asking it select the correct answer for the question and image and also explain why it is correct so let's run this and there you go so the answer is correct by the way so if i just quickly go up there you go so this this was the question ocr is amazing and then it has solved it and then it has given us the correct answer very nice and let's do a final test on this vision task so you see i have just given it given it this chart and i am asking it to explain this chart and which product is better so pretty Big question I am asking it so let me clear it let's run it and there you go it has done it wonderfully well so this was the chart and it is talking about this chart compares performance of two graphics card so it has identified the product and then it is talking about uh, in two different games so it has also identified the games on the left hand side and then also how the performance is being measured so, and then it has given us a detail and then it has also given us a conclusion that rtx 5090 outperforms rtx 4090 and i can safely say this is a best response i have received from any model for this question so far so vision task i think full marks to the model okay after the vision task let's try out some of the text based prompt so we'll be testing it on language maybe coding and also some of the math questions so first up i am just going to use this code and by the way this code is also available on their model card i have just made some uh, changes so that it will uh, work for my system so the prompt which i'm asking here is what are the benefits of green tea let's go here and let's run it so i just i'm just calling this python script up one dot pi let's wait for it takes a bit of a time by the way and there you go so if you read through this response uh, looks quite good green tea is known for its numerous health benefits it is talking about all the key benefits here rich in antioxidants so and if you read the prose it is quite masterful i would say very very coherent uh, 
very natural flow and doesn't seem like too verbose to me that is talking about all the key benefits and there are a lot of them and then it is talking about uh, towards the end that to maximize it's best to consume green tea without adding too much sugar or milk that's actually a very good advice so pretty good let's try out one more and now let's try to solve a real world problem with this mistral model so i'm asking the model that every morning when i go out to hang clothes in my balcony my attractive 27 year old neighbor who just separated from her seventh husband starts drying her wet hair in slow motion like a bollywood actress wearing a beautiful lehenga choli and humming romantic songs loudly while smiling directly at me now my wardrobe is empty because i am washing and drying my clothes four times a day just to catch her daily hair drying routine and my water bill is going through the roof please suggest what should i do let's see how the model can help here so i hope the guardrails are not too up and there you go the model has come back with the response it says it sounds like you are in a situation that's both amusing and potentially problematic <laughs> so set boundaries change your routine ignore the behavior talk to a mutual friend consult a professional document the behavior <laughs> Regarding your water bill, try to be more mindful of your water usage. You could also consider installing a water-efficient washing machine. And lastly, it's important to respect her privacy as well. Just because she's separated from her husband doesn't mean she's inviting attention or advances. Always ensure your interactions are respectful and appropriate. So, model is very, very careful there. So not a bad answer, I would say, but maybe I think model could be funnier. So, I think that there is a bit of uh, lack of uh, a humorous touch there because if you if you have watched my videos around maybe uh, deep seek model or few others <clears throat> they were quite playful yet respectful but this one i think lacks humor a bit pretty serious model okay let's try out a math one so for the math one i'm asking it implement the extended euclidean algo to calculate the GCD of two integers. Let's see how it performs in math. And there you go. We already have seen the math in the vision task, but even here, if I quickly go through it, it has done the step-by-step -step solution, which looks quite good and even has given us the Python code to do that. Yes, the answer is correct. And coding also looks good, but let's try out one coding question and then we will call it a day. So for the coding one, I'm asking you to develop me a basic iOS app using Swift that allows user to convert currency values. So it's simply currency converter. So let's see how it goes. And model has come up with yet another magnificent answer. So it is talking about what exactly it is developing and then it is creating a plan to set for the project designing the user interface and then pretty good i would say and then create the picker data source very nice and the swift code looks spot on so if you go through this code this is a complete code i would say and then it is talking about what to do next around connecting ui elements i think this could have a bit more info but that is fine and then how to run the app and then this is a basic implementation to get started with currency converter so pretty good coding too so look i believe math coding language vision uh, everything looks really really good to me and i will be making more videos on it where i just want to exclusively cover function calling so i think but this has already gone way over so we will call it a day if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.